that back turn to a Louis. How you did that? That look like a brand new booty. How you did that? He got face stones and I will watch you. How you did that? You hear some scratches in your closet. Why you did that? How you yelling slash slash? How I kill a cat? Hola, como estas? What's up, you guys? Woo! It's the start of another week, another weekly vlog. I don't know what I'm gonna do today. Actually, I do know what I'm gonna do today. Right now, I'm currently dressed, about to get ready to go to my parents' crib because I told y'all in the last vlog, I had some packages get sent there and I don't even know what they are now because it's been so long. I don't even know what was sent to me. So I need to pull up over there, grab those packages. I'm probably gonna do an unboxing of everything that I got. I do know one of the packages are like some moon boots that I have to do a TikTok video on for hype base. So I'm excited to get that because I don't know what color they sent me. But yeah, pretty much just starting the day off by going to go see my parents. It is MLK day, so big ups to Martin Luther King. I'm off work today, which feels amazing because I am tired. And I think I'm just kind of a little bit tired too from all the constant like content creation and working out. My body still is trying to adjust y'all. But comment down below if you feel like y'all are hitting your New Year's goals. It's never too late to hit your goals. It's never too late to come up with goals. So don't feel discouraged. We're only in the third week of January and it's only gonna get better from here. Okay, so while we wait for the car to warm up, what I typically do is I just like look at my to-do list to make sure that there's like not anything that I can do while on my way to go to my parents house so every Sunday or like if I'm really pushing it Monday morning I make a whole to-do list of the week um, it's been very beneficial for like my productivity I think it just helps me out a lot but looking at it for so far this week I have you know filming my YouTube video or like getting started on it um, shipping out some of my scrunchie orders because you guys trendy halos relaunched my scrunchie business and I've been getting so many orders So thank you guys so much for the support I have to ship those orders out tomorrow since it's MLK day and the post offices are closed I have take outfit pictures for this week I told y'all I really want to start popping back up on my Instagram like with like dope outfit inspiration photos because I think I've just been like really Catering more towards real and like video content, which I still love but like I want you to know that I can still step out and like have a cool outfit on so definitely this week is my goal to post at least two outfit pictures if anything one and then I'll post another one like next week because like with Instagram you don't have to post all the time when it comes on the pictures but reels I definitely want to be more consistent with that so far I posted like basically a reel or two reels a week since January has started so I'm definitely like killing it in that department other than that everything else seems just to be for work so I'm pretty much straight all I gotta do is go to my parents crib get my packages I love getting packages that, like and I forget like what's coming to me or like what I'm supposed to be getting it's like Christmas all over again so probably chill out with my parents for a little bit because it's been forever since I've seen them and then we will come back to the crib open up those packages up see what your girl got and yeah let me get my glasses because y'all should know that I'm a blind gal and I cannot see worth a lick there you go there you go Okay y'all, so I stopped at um, a car wash. I didn't know that this was like the car wash where they like do it for you. So I just had to like park my car out there. They're going to detail it and like get it clean. Let me throw down a good little $30 to uh, get the car detailed and like washed and like the inside and everything. So I'm actually really excited to see like how it's gonna turn out. That's what we're doing, but I like this. I think I would do this more often. I think I'd rather like go to a car wash place like where they're doing it rather than just going through like the mechanical thing. Cause one, I heard that that like is really damaging for your car and two I just feel like this is gonna get like a better clean and all that good stuff so yeah I'm excited here are my kicks for the day they're so uncomfortable I would wear my 450s more but they're really tight like on the sides of my feet y'all the car looks amazing as you can see Oh yeah, I'm gonna do that like maybe once a month because I'm lazy. Okay, now that I left the car wash, look how crisp this looks. Look at the inside, baby. It even smells good up in here, y'all. Yeah, I'm gonna start doing that more often. Just pulled up to my parents' crib. Let's go say hey to the folks. Ooh, that's nice. I did that. All right, so I left my parents' house not too long ago. Now, I really was craving some food and it's my homie Jordan's birthday today. So I told him that we should go get food together and he wanted to put me on to like this dope like ramen spot. So right now I am in Atlanta, just waiting for him to pull up 
so we can go eat some food. This is my first time eating. Well, that's a lie. I ate ramen before when I was in New York. I just did not like it. It was a bad experience, but he claims that this is a really good ramen spot. So we about to find out, babe. I'm here with Jordan. We're at the spot. How are you today? Good, how are you? Y'all, I need a drink. So stress. This is a birthday boy. Big Capricorn in the building. All right, as you guys can tell, it is the next day. Um, I had a really great time yesterday hanging out with Don. He's so cool and chill. He's like a newer friend of mine, but we get each other a lot. And it's like really refreshing to hang around people that kind of just get you and understand you. So he definitely liked the dinner, of course, because he put me onto that place. My first time trying ramen, and I definitely think I will be going back. Like, ramen is good. I I've been asleep this whole entire time, y'all. But yeah, now I have all these scrunchies that I just recently uh, made. So these are the completed ones. I have to now package up these orders. I'm gonna put the labels on them, run to the post office, ship that out. Um, and then also, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the packages that I picked up from my parents' house yesterday as well. But just thought that I would pack up some of these orders on camera. I have like the cutest cards for when people make an order for Trendy Halos. And I left it blank on the back because as of right now, I still enjoy writing my little sweet handwritten letters. But definitely when I order the, the second batch, it'll already have like the written thank you on the back because sometimes that part can be exhausting. I got to my Sharpie and now let's see who ordered what. Look, like I'm packing orders with you guys. Uh, whenever I come back from a long weekend, cause it's now Tuesday, so yesterday was MLK day. And when you have a long weekend from work and just life, it just feels like it takes forever to get back on track. I don't know. Okay, so someone ordered the Sharon scrunchie and that was Marianne. Thank you, Marianne. What's so dope about my scrunchies. So I name all of my scrunchies after like influential women in my life um i thought it was going to be something cool to do instead of just like the typical black or noir whatever people have to do to make like a fancy name for a color i was just like you know what i'm gonna name them after women that i look up to and who inspire me so it's so funny because the black one i named after my mom her name is sharon so that's the most common one. That's the one that everyone orders, the black and the brown. The brown one is named after my friend, Corey. She's so cute and so sweet. And I kind of make sure I picked colors that kind of match the person's personality. So, yeah. So we're gonna say thank you so much for your order. Let me do a little heart and then we say trendy. Cause my alias is Trendy Halos. Only a few people know that I like run this business. Um, I don't mind people knowing. It's just, I don't know when I started it, I kind of just wanted to care less about the cloud of it all and just like really helping women uh, who have a lot of hair and like just uh, hair health and hair safety. So that is the reason behind this brand. Make sure you guys can't see her address. Okay, next up, Ty, Sharon, and then a Corey. I think the Leslie Scrunchie's over there. Got the Leslie Scrunchie. This is probably my favorite one. I just love that green color, but you guys know I'm biased because green is what? My favorite color. And this person's from New York. Who is messaging me? All right, babies. Just finished packing up these orders. I realized that I left the packages I got from my parents' house um, in the car. So once I drop that off to the post office, I'll bring those up and then we can unbox them. Um, but I did get an order sent to my actual apartment from Shea Moisture. So I won a giveaway, which is very interesting because I never win anything. Hold on, turn this light off. I never win anything on giveaways and I won something. It's like from uh, their new drop. I typically don't buy anything for like my face like that. It's whatever is sent to me. So I think it's cool because 
I believe it's from like their new skin collection, but yeah. So Shea Moisture sent me a bamboo charcoal detoxifying toner. I don't know if you guys can see that. Ooh, it's so cute. Yeah, so it's like a toner. And actually, I don't put much stuff on my face, but I do like using toners. And then they also got me a clarifying facial wash and scrub. So I might even use this like in my nighttime routine, probably either tonight or tomorrow. But I'll even do a reel or a TikTok on this because this is just some exciting things and I won it in a giveaway. So shout out to Shea Moisture. Thank you for picking me. Whenever something is free, don't get me started. And I think like if I end up liking it, I definitely will just add it into my routine. But it has African black soap in it and I do use African black soap on my face. Um, yeah, I'm not big on putting a lot of chemicals on my face because I feel like that's how your skin breaks out. But I am all for trying something new. Okay, now we are off to the lovely post office. It's horrible looking outside today, y'all. Like, look at this. Oh, wow, you can't even see it. Can you see it? There you go. Okay, it's not too ugly. It's actually kind of pretty. It's like just dummy cloudy. Let's conquer these errands so I can hurry up and get back home. All right, so right now I'm heading into the post office, but I see that there's an Ulta Beauty, so I might stop in there. I don't even know what Ulta Beauty sells, but I just want to stop in there because I feel like that's what a girly would do. And I'm trying to live in my soft girl era, so. The post office is always busy. But okay, not too bad. Just like that, your girl is out of here. I strongly suggest you guys print out your own labels. It'll make life a whole lot easier. Let's see what Ulta has. I really want some perfume. Like I wanna find like my signature scent. Um, I don't care if it's $100, but I've always wanted to try black opium. I think that's the name of the perfume. It's like quite hilarious how lost I am. Okay, someone had to help me find it, but we found it. The people here are really nice. I wonder why girls love it here. I mean, this is really pretty. This Valentino one looks really cute. Let's smell it. Oh, this smells really good. Okay. This is good. It's just a little bit too strong for me. I like stuff that smells fruity, a little softer. Oh no, this is kind of good. Okay, let's try this Versace one next. No. Mm -mm. That's not it. I'm kind of hurt. I was really hoping to get that black opium one. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? I need to see what the hype is of this Billie Eilish one. I might try this one and see how it smells. I like this bottle though. This bottle's cute. Oh, people was using this up. I kind of like this. Mm, that actually smells really good. It kind of reminds me of something light and airy, like, like a coconut. I can't explain it. This is really good. Billie Eilish? Okay. I don't listen to your music, but this hit. I definitely like this store. I like the energy of this store. I might be an Ulta girl yet again. All right, y'all, that was kind of fun. Um, I didn't buy any perfume because I want to come back there again with my friend Jordan. That's who I hung out with yesterday. He has the best cologne on all the time. And I told him to help me pick out like my signature scent. So I feel like if I had got that one, I would have robbed him of the true experience of picking one out for me. So I'll probably come back, maybe even record it and just see if, if he likes that same scent or if I should get another one. But I'm new to the whole perfume like the whole perfume world. I never know where I park in fact on my car. There's also TJ Maxx in here. I low-key want to go in there, but I'm trying to save money, y'all. It's so hard to save money when you want to shop and you're addicted to shopping like me. So let me just head back home. Head back home and then open up those packages for y'all. <laughs> Y'all, I just came back home to hear my next door neighbors fighting. Like I'm talking, screaming at the top of their lungs. And why I'm laughing is because I'm trying to be nosy and peek my head out my door to see 
you know, to hear the conversation because it sounds like somebody had a baby on somebody, but I don't know. And when I <laughs> when I open the door to pick my head, I have another uh, lady who lives on my floor. She's like an older white woman. <laughs> she's like so old. She probably was like, she's probably like maybe 55 or something. And she's with her dog and she's like listening close to the door and me and her, I'm just like, we kind of give each other like the, the little head nod, like we're being nosy neighbors, but it was too juicy for me not to listen over. Anyways, back home. I got to my packages from out the trunk of my car. Um, the first one I'm gonna go ahead and open is the Moon Boot one. Moon Boots seem to be the trend. Like, they're really trendy right now. And I don't know what color they sent me, so I'm really excited to open this up and see which one it is. <sighs> because after I do this unboxing, I also get to keep them. Okay, you guys, moment of truth. Okay, this is actually really dope. They sent me a brown colorway. Look at it. Look at it. You guys see it? No, I really like this. I'm really excited. Oh, and it even comes like in a bag like this. This is sick. I've been wanting a moon boot for a while. They're actually fairly inexpensive. They're about like maybe 169 or 185 on their website. I think it's like 169 on Amazon, but I would just get it straight from the website. These are cute. I'm definitely gonna do like a TikTok of me styling them up and like unboxing them to put on the Hype Bay profile. I really hope that it can go viral. So you guys, make sure you guys are following Hype Bay on our TikTok. It's literally just Hype Bay. But these are cute. I'll open them up and then repackage it because for the TikTok, I think I'm gonna make it look like it just came to me unopened. But look at this. This is the cutest thing ever. The detail. I'm really happy they sent brown. I low-key wanted the white. I was hoping it was gonna be like white or tan, but I like this one because not a lot of people have the brown colorway. And I think it's just gonna really match a lot of the clothes that I have too. So I'm actually really excited. This just made my whole entire day. Make sure this can fit on my foot. How do you know which one's left or right? You can't even really tell. Oh, they're yelling again. Oh, she's cursing. I don't know if y'all, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but she is going in. <gasps> they fit perfect. Y'all see this? And they're comfy as I don't know what. It feels like I'm walking on a cloud. Oh yeah, these are it. They kind of look cool in my outfit right now too. Okay, so now for my other two packages, I have no idea what's in these, but I do know that they should probably be some type of like beauty related product. My coworker who works on Hype Bay Beauty, her name is Alyssa. She said that there are some companies be sending her stuff and sometimes she just gets too much of it. I don't remember what she told me was in here, so it's gonna be like a surprise really to both of us. But I got two packages. Okay, it says Killian Paris. This is cute. Let me see what it is. This is like the high point of my day. This is like one of the perks of working my job. Just so many cute stuff. Oh, it's a, y'all, why is it a fragrance? Isn't that crazy that I was just shopping for fragrances and now I open this up and it's a fragrance in here? That's God. Like, you can't tell me, okay, so it says, we know that smell has the power to shape and evoke memories. For that reason, we wanted to gift some of our TikTok favorites with one of our best love fragrances, Love Don't Be Shy. I don't know if that's the name of it or that's what they were saying. With hints of marshmallow and tender orange blossom, that's what that Billie Eilish one smelled like. It smelled like marshmallows. I couldn't find the word, but that's exactly what it smelled like. Um, we hope this scent provides a bit of cheer throughout the holiday season and into the new year. And just as the name suggests, please don't be shy to share the love across your TikTok. And please remember to tag Killian Paris and love don't be shy so we're sure to see it. Yeah, so it's called Killian Paris. You know, y'all know me. I, don't, I have no idea what Killian Paris is. I don't know, but... That's wild that I went shopping for a perfume, randomly too. Like I was like, randomly, let's walk into Ulta to look for perfume. And look, perfume. Ooh, the packaging is so cute. Now, if this smells good, what y'all? Oh, I love a good perfume. Look how it is when you open it up. Look at this. Oh. Do it again. Oh. <laughs> Yo, it's heavy too. Let's see. Make sure nothing's already on me. Let's freaking go. This smells amazing. 
Oh my gosh. This is what happened when you walking in your divine purpose. You listening to God. You taking steps because there's a reason why your girl didn't buy that perfume. This smells so good and it's so me. I told y'all I like stuff that's like sweet but not too strong. I hate floral scents that, that smells too floral like. I don't know, that's not, my, that's not my aesthetic. I like fruity smells. And that orange in there, that tangerine, oh yeah. I'm telling you, bruh, this, this wasn't planned at all. This just made my day. That was not planned at all. Like, I'm blown right now. Okay, yeah, so it's another one. It's another bag by Killian Paris. Let's see if it's the same perfume, maybe? Yep, it's the same one. So yeah, girl got two. Perfume, perfumes, two perfumes, perfumes. I might get this to somebody. That's how God blesses people. See, I was just blessed, so now I'm about to bless somebody. That's how my God works. I'm gonna I'm a bless somebody else with the blessing that I just got. Y'all see how that works? Y'all see how that works? So yeah, what it's looking like is tomorrow might just be a full-blown content creation day. Um, in order for me to do that, I have to like conquer all of my, like, my work tasks because I hate having to like, remember when to post on TikTok on top of like creating content for TikTok, whether it's for hype bay or my own personal thing. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably spend some time staying up later tonight or even just staying later at work and just get all my stuff ready to post for tomorrow. So that way I can just spend all day tomorrow creating content. Going to make that salad, knock out for a few, take a little nap and then wake back up and do some more work. Pretty much done you guys know me i do a light makeup look i don't like wearing a lot of makeup but it is cute and it's good enough for me to start doing this content creation just finished laying down my hair as well just gonna spruce up the baby hairs but this is cute you guys are probably hearing that so raven in the background because that is what your girl is watching i don't know why but raven really motivates me to want to look at my clothes and my outfits especially because you guys know i have a whole lot of clothes but yeah raven that's a raven is my show no matter what <laughs> okay y'all so i feel so horrible because i came back from taking all my content like photos for my job and for myself and i didn't record any of the process i know you guys hate me but i will show you some of like the footage and recordings like probably while i'm talking right here of everything that i caught y'all when i tell you that my parking garage is the best place to take pictures and videos y'all it was on 10 like I'm gonna be posting outfit pictures all the time. I'm just really happy because that was on my to-do list for this week, was just set aside time to, to do more outfit posts and not just always video content. I'm excited. I'm like really excited to edit these up. So I know that I don't have it edited up now, but by the time you guys see this, it's gonna be up here. You're gonna see how cool I am. So make sure you guys are following my Instagram at the thrift guru please spam and like up all my posts comment on the pictures and say hey you came from youtube or whatever because i really put my heart and soul into that content i just created it was, it was bomb it was lit so right now as you can see i have my workout clothes on uh, 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 uh. y'all my body's been looking so good i'm gonna get my workout on and then i'll come back to y'all good morning well actually it's the afternoon but it is a new day and today's friday this is actually turning out to be more and more of a weekly vlog than a daily vlog because i've been all over the place and doing a lot of stuff this week but i am about to head out with my longtime friend in zynga i feel like i was hanging out with a lot of friends this week which i'm really happy about because i told myself when i moved from new york and came to atlanta i would be more intentional with hanging out with like people that live here that i've known for a long time because i feel like you take for granted like your friends because they live in the same area as you and then you don't know it, but when you're away from them for a long time, you don't have the easy access to hang out with them. You take it for granted. So definitely this is like your sign to hang out with your friends, people that you haven't talked to in years or people that you haven't even seen in years because those moments matter, you know? So I haven't seen Nzinga in forever. We met in college. We were in the same FLC. It's called a freshman learning community at Georgia State. 
um she was just always real and authentic and genuine from the jump so i'm so excited to see her we're about to go out to eat i found this cool little viral place on tiktok it's called beulah gastro bar i think it might be cute so i'll definitely bring my camera in to record but i'm about to link up with her i'm gonna pick her up and we're gonna head out on the town and do what girls do but y'all peep how cute i look did my makeup again. I'm really getting into like, you know, styling up my outfits again. Sometimes I'll feel like I'm back in college because when I was in college, that's when I discovered my love for fashion. And I started to see now that like when I put on clothes, like I'm really intentional with what I wear and how I look. And like, even right now, this outfit I have on is super cute. Like I'm just really liking and enjoying dressing up again. So it's a really good moment. Now it's time to go eat, link up with the homie and you know, enjoy my soft girl era. <laughs> Y'all, I had to do it. I had to pull out the Tofeezy for the first time today. And it's looking, it's looking immaculate with the fit. I ain't even gonna hold you. Look at that. <laughs> Life don't get no better than this. It don't, it don't get no better. All right, you guys, I'm here with Zynga. She's so cute. We're about to get something to eat. Like I said, we both haven't been here before, but what you thinking you, from the TikTok review? Ooh, them lamb chops. Y'all, they had lamb chops? Ooh. You wouldn't say that. You a bougie eater. She, she always been bougie like that. I'm just, she gonna say, oh, the fries? <laughs> nah, meanwhile, I'm like looking at the simple stuff like the shrimp. She's like, them lamb chops though? That was the first thing I saw. I'm like, yeah. Oh my God. I wonder what the price is hidden for. I feel like when I looked at it though, it had like two dollar signs. Cause like, whenever it's a bar, it don't be expensive, right? Nah, like, cause it's like tapas, right? Tapas, whatever you're saying. What's that? I don't know. It's like, basically <clears throat> when like, you get, it's not a whole entree. Like, you don't get sides. Oh. You just get what you order. Oh, I didn't know that. When I looked at that TikTok I sent you, I was yeah. just looking at the pictures. Yeah. And the drinks looked really good. They did look good. The drinks look good. But she said she's a social drinker. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm kind of. Girl, <laughs> I'm low key a social drinker, but I don't know. I want a good little drink right now. <laughs> some light. I had some Taylor Port last night, y'all. Don't drink that. Don't yeah, drink I don't that. know what Taylor Port is, y'all. She had to tell me that. Which, Which way are we going? This way? Yeah, so apparently that's that's the devil. So don't drink that, y'all. Don't drink it. She was out of commission this morning. I'm like, girl, you ready? She like, give me a minute. <laughs> I got a headache. I'm like, a headache. Y'all see her way. Look, look, my Selfie. The dunk, the fit, the hair, the face. I love it. Y'all, we demolished it. We demolished. We left none. This place is amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> All right, y'all, it is the next morning. Me and Nzinga literally stayed up until like 3 a.m. just catching up on life and just reminiscing about the old days, but also like talking about some of our goals for the new year. It was a really good, it was a really good meetup. I was happy. And y'all, the food was so good. So I ended up making like a real slash TikTok about that restaurant. It's probably gonna go up today, like when you guys see, you know, this vlog. So it should be up, so go ahead and spam it. It was so much fun. I also wrote down in the caption everything that we got. So definitely make sure to check out that spot if you're ever in Atlanta if you're, if, or if you live in the Midtown area because the food was immaculate. I am definitely going to be going there again. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog right here. This was a nice little weekly vlog. I actually felt like I did a lot of stuff. So let's hope that next week is just as eventful. But pretty much every week is kind of booked and busy because of like, just like my new year, new me mentality. So. We're getting a lot of stuff done and I'm just really happy. January is going amazing, 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 amazing. And I have some big news to share with you all, but I probably won't be able to share it until February, but I'll give you a hint. I will be collaborating with a big brand and it will be a series on YouTube. So keep that in your little memory banks, but just know that it's really big, it's really good, and I'm super excited. So. Yeah, make sure you guys are following my Instagram accounts. Everything's linked down below in the description box. Pretty much all of my socials are at the Thrift Guru. If you all haven't heard it today, or if no one's told you, you are beautiful. You are more than enough. You are golden, man. Like, you can do this. You got this. Like, whatever you're going through, it's nothing too big that our God cannot handle, all right? I love you. Jesus loves you. 
and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.